kind of taken off the field with these two bands here. So these are going to... He's got other decks. He can beat you mm -hmm. with other stuff. So here we go. Brazil against San Diego, California. Whew. Game number one, you guys. Ashton versus Colton, whoever... Uh wins this matchup all together. We'll be heading to the finals against Oxlip, but they still got this one and potentially two other matches to go. I still can't get over the global nature of this game. I mean, we have, we have a, Colton is so close that I can hit him with a Nerf football. <laughs> one of those footballs with like the wings on it that screams oh, yeah. or whatever. Like he's so close to where we're broadcasting from. I could almost hit him with a Nerf football. Meanwhile, Atchin is literally in a different season. Oh yeah. It's like spring over there. <laughs> Here we are. It's not even the fall season anymore. All right, so we got a hog from Atchin. It looks like we got a miner from Colton. And I love the Ooh. miners back in the goblin. He's going to be able to zap those away. He does zap Ooh, the bats away. Zap. And the spear goblins are going to get on the tower for a few hundred more damage. He's got to zap Ooh. them, which is not a very efficient zap. I mean, you know, yeah. it's not what you really want to be zapping. It's just two spear goblins. All right, so we're, we're about tired right now. Down in the 1500s on both towers. They're only different by 20 HP. On Ice Golem, towers. yeah, pretty much a non-factor on the counterattack. Now, Atchin is, OK, so he's got Hog Rider. Mm -hmm. uh, it might be Mega Knight is that last card. This yes, looks a lot like the yes. Mega Knight Hog Rider deck, but there's really nothing in Colton's deck that you would Mega Knight, maybe the Goblin Gang or something. Oh, Colton brings Inferno Tower. I like it. So this is kind of one of those Hog or the Log Bait Miner hybrid decks, and he's brought the Inferno Tower. Wise choice against this Hog Rider. It's going to be a big help for him. This looks a lot like old school Miner Poison, like the original Miner Poison decks that ran the Inferno Tower, and just like you never got through with anything. Yeah. I believe those decks used to run Skeleton Army back in the day, and I think mm -hmm. Goblin Gang has just largely taken their yes, place as it the, has. Uh, the better card. It's nice because it hits air as well. The one thing, though, is that Ashen is running the zap, so that's going to help him. He could potentially hit the hog through, at least for a swing or two, yeah. uh, if he's zapped at the right time on that Inferno Tower at Colts. Now, Mega Knight comes out, and that's a pretty bold play now that you know Inferno Tower is out there. So I think what oh, the game yeah. plan for Ashen here is to have hog and Mega Knight in the same lane at the same time, to, um, and then, of course, Ice Golem to hopefully tank as well, and just try to, like, maybe overwhelm it. Like, okay, he's got the one Inferno Tower, but mm -hmm. once it's out of cycle, you're just go, 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 go. Oh my god! Inferno gosh. Dragon locked on too, too. Yes, it is. And that Inferno Tower got zapped and retargeted onto the Hog. It was originally targeted onto the Mega Knight there, and I know he zapped it to try to keep it alive, but. Two swings has gotta hurt. But we are wow, got 30 seconds away. This so might go close. into overtime. I think both towers might end up yes, going down. I would agree with you. Especially because Log. I don't know if there's a poison or fireball in that deck, but Log should bring the right side tower low. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's Zap. Find the Log. All right, the hog is connected. Zap comes down, but the hog is probably not going to connect. Nope, he doesn't. One hit, and now it's just oh, a poisoner fireball. Time oh, is running oh, out. Oh, man. Here comes the miner. He needs a few swings on the tower. He zaps it. Two, one. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Colton for the first win over Atchin. And even though we oh can't goodness. see them on webcam, I can see Colton Mystery in terms of scouting compared to Atchin, true. who's uh, really putting himself out there for the fans. That is true. All right, guys. Game number two. So Colton got the win for game number one. This is our second matchup. Atchin has got to win this one in order to stay in it and to move to a game number three. Now, Atchin is running the Goblin Hut decks that have become so popular. Um, now, the question, I guess, is, is Colton running some sort of ground-based beatdown deck that's going to walk bad into that? Oh, that Archer gets a few extra pop shots off, and along with the poison, Goblin Hut's already off the board. The Knight's going to come down behind the King Tower. Ooh, Miner's going to get blocked by the Ice Spirit. That Mega Minion looks like it could be a little bit of a threat. It's got a lot of health as it closes in on the tower, oh, yeah. but the Knight will block for it while the Archer picks it off. I feel like Mega Minion doesn't need that much to defend it, but as long as you have something small, then you're good to go. Defensive Poison comes down Ooh. for Atchin, but that Archer was locked on and getting several hundred points of damage before she went down. I think you got to count that as a successful early graveyard, putting uh, Colton in the damage lead on the left side. So now we kind of see what decks both these players are running. We've seen so much Goblin Hut today. It's quite a, quite a change. Yeah, I lost that bet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a week ago, and they were like, yeah. what's the new breakout card in Clash Royale? I don't think I was saying Goblin Hut. <laughs> Not but, Goblin Hut. But that is the result of balance changes. Balance changes are always so good for uh, competitive games' uh, health because you get yeah. to see new cards. Goblin Hut was really not even directly buffed. It was Spirit right. Goblins who got a little bit of a um, of an attack speed increase, and they were able to, from that, really the card that it gained the most was actually the Goblin Hut. 
Like, Goblin Gang got a little bit of a buff. Yeah. But you don't see too much of the two-cost Spear Goblins. Goblin Gang was already really popular. Right. The biggest winner was Goblin Hut, which went from zero play to actually in multiple archetypes. It's not even just in this archetype, but Pompeo popularized uh, a, a YouTuber by the name of Yosoi Rick started it and, pop and Pompeo popular uh, popularized it, a Double Hut Expo deck. Oh, I remember hut, playing deck. against those. All right, so we got the Miner coming down. But the Miner comes down to take out those archers. Ooh, but good defense by Colton. He drops the Ice Golem there just in between. So Miner going after him instead of going for the tower. An offensive poison is coming down this time. Uh, no troops are coming down to defend, so it's just pure damage. Mega Knight does come down a little later. Downside for Colton is he spent a lot of Elixir on that push, and though he did get some damage, yep. he's now got to defend against this Mega Knight plus whatever Ash can back it up with. Ooh, yes. I mean, Knight does well paired with something else to defend the Mega Knight. But of course, Mega Knight, oh, that Ice Spirit was beautiful. It just caught the Mega Knight's attention, so he didn't jump onto the Tesla. Now Tesla just zapping him down. And they have Knight Archers building up for a new push. He's using Poison right now to get the Goblin Hut off the field. When this Knight Archers crosses the bridge, I would expect to see a Graveyard along with it. Yep. I don't know how there good the Electro is. Wizard's going to be here. It's going to log it back into the tower and get some more damage in there. Electro Wizard's kind of a dodgy uh, card against against Graveyard, because he only yeah, gets two agree. things at a time, and he's slow attacking. All right. So now it's kind of like a trade of attacks Ouch. here. Miner comes down. The Undefended in the back. Colton just letting that Miner go. Atchin's just redlining right now, wow. going all in for it. I don't know if Colton We're has anything to defend. The Miner comes through. The log gets it down really low, and that's oh, going to tie it up wow. for Atchin. Atchin coming back. Just as we saw, like in cards like Inferno Dragon, yes. which are not banned in this matchup. All right, here we go, guys. This is game three between Atchin and Colton. They are tied one to one right now. Whoever wins this game is going to play in the final game against Oxlade, which will be a best of five. And the bands for this one are Pump and Giants. We won't see either of those, but it looks like both of them just sitting on Elixir. Atchin dropped. The Ice Spirit to cycle a little bit. And it's the Archers at the start. Colton starting out with an E-Wiz in the back, working its way towards the river. So we're not quite sure exactly what their decks are yet, but I'm sure we'll find out very shortly. I am a huge fan of Archers as a support troop because yeah. of their ability to split. No other uh, just pure like ranged attack support card can split like that. And it makes them such a good opening play. It makes them a great uh, like just neutral play in the middle where you're not really sure which lane you want to defend. Like, I don't know. I'm a big fan. This time, Graveyard of Colton is going to start building up. He gets about 200 damage on the tower, 150. And now he's got to defend against the counterattack. It looks like Atchin might be playing a Graveyard deck of his own. Yes. Or even... Oh, no, it there is. it is. You're right. And he got the Knight across the bridge, just how you want to do to have a tank. Although... Oh, she is targeted onto the Knight. The skeletons are spawning, but it looks like a defensive poison from Colton. And defensive poison saves the day again. And this is a... So, Graveyard mirror match. Here's the thing to look for for you folks at home. Both players want to oh no he's saying oops because he played graveyard without poison so both players have poison both players want to use poison on offense to take out archers minions etc but both players also want to defend with poison because if you defend with archers or minions then you get poisoned out so there's like this huge mind game between these players about whether to use poison on defense or offense uh, if you use them on defense, neither side's really going to get anything through. If you use it on offense, though, you don't have it to defend the, the counterattack. All right, so it looks like both of them, they're tied pretty much for Elixir right now. Nothing on the field, other than, of course, now we have a little ice. Yeah. And two knights on the field. It's Different. such a similar mirror matchup, just about. Oh, we've got Pekka, wow. though, from That's Colton. a big okay. difference in the matchup. That now watch out, Graveyard in the difference. other lane. We'll see if a yes. defensive poison comes down. Yes. Yes, it does. Way to call it. Because at this point, he hit, you know when you go down to three Elixir because of Pekka, you, have a, you almost have four right away. Yep. So you can do that. You're going to take a little, couple hundred damage here. But the nice thing is that Atchin doesn't have any some, any sort of big beatdown push that's going to be similar. So you can invest so much more Elixir than Atchin can in basically the same matchup. Which it looks like he has. I mean, he had a pretty heavy push there on the left, Colton did. Look but at this. good defense by Atchin. And he's using the poison there to prevent any sort of like swarm troops to be played in the middle. Uh, it didn't quite work out, but look at how much Atchin is playing trying to defend this P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, he spent a lot of Elixir to defend against P.E.K.K.A. And that push is still Ooh, going. Go. There it goes. 1,500 damage, 500 damage lead. They are opposite lanes, though, so yes. it's a little tough because if you spend Elixir defending the Knight slash Graveyard here on the other side, you're not going to be uh, having as much Elixir to counterattack the other end. This I think is a great push cool from Atchin. That's offense and defense poison. Is it really? They're exactly lined up on top wow. of each other. Wow. 
<laughs> yeah, because one, right. one faded Goodness. first and the other one faded. That's uh, couldn't see even what? see the blue line around it. It's because uh, they're so like you know they're so precise. When you study with teams and stuff, yes. you know the exact right placement. Yep. And I feel like they were both <laughs> playing it in the exact same spot because they had practiced it so much. All right, so looks like Colton is starting a P.E.K.K.A. push once again on the left-hand side. It seemed to do well for him, but Atchin fighting back with a lone graveyard. Defensive po poison from Colton comes down, though. But here's where Tesla Tower earns its rent. I mean, this card is just taking out Electro Wizard. It's going to take out this P.E.K.K.A. too, I think. There's nothing else hitting the Knight, right? So he's just slowly yeah. but surely just eating no those kidding. Tesla shots that do so much damage. Tesla for the win. P.E.K.K.A.'s still alive, though. <laughs> And this time, the min all the minions come down, but they eat the poison. Knight has to come down after to help uh, help it out. But because the graveyard is so spread out around the tower, some skeletons are coming out on the far side and getting damage. Woo! Graveyard from Colton on the left. Uh, Archers come down, though. Ah, great poison, though. So now they're actually switched to offense, right? They both want to use poison offensively. Yes, you're right. Let's see if those skeletons can build up. Very little build up and some damage. Though. Nobody in triple digits yet, but obviously Colton very close to getting options. Super low. The Ice Spirit, I don't know how I feel about that Ice Spirit. It only took out one Skeleton for one Elixir. Yeah. Knight comes down right after. Ooh, and the Skeletons are really building up. This hurts. Oh, man. He plays Pekka at the river, Here basically comes. forcing a response. And no, the Great Ice Golem is going to take it for a walk. But that's a really good opportunity here because the tower is still shooting. That log's going to come through. Ice Spirit oh, jumps, freezes connects. the tower. And we've got a poison coming down from Colton. However, Atchin dropping the graveyard, fighting back. This is going to be so close, coming down to it. Knight comes down, minions are cleaning them out. There's only a couple skeletons oh, left, and even though it does get it down to point, no, it does get oh it down to poison range. Goodness. We're cycling back for poisons, but the big graveyard is uh, oh, on the tower. Holy and it moly! Freezes it freezes again. Is, is there another clean? swing? It oh does. Golden wins. Golden wins. <laughs> Golden takes the game three victory <laughs> over the.